everyone! Welcome to Bikini Design Club. Very, very happy to share with you this new pattern. This is only my test pattern, so never mind the annotations I have here. I'm gonna do it in black today. And before I'm going to explain you all the pieces, I'm gonna cut them because it's easier to explain when once they are cut. This is a non-reversible pattern, so I will cut lining and I will cut my main fabric. It's a long sleeve pattern, so my sleeves, I will only cut them on the main fabric. I will not line the, the sleeves. And that's it. I'm gonna cut and then I'm gonna explain what I'm doing. So, unfortunately, my black lining has finished, so I'm gonna be using for the back. I'm gonna be using these nudes and I'm already pinning the center back seam of my uh, bottom back piece because um, as some of you may know if you are new to the channel you don't know but if you are not uh, you uh, <laughs> start uh, now and you have just started sewing our swimwear patterns you will discover that we use a lot of uh, center back seams because this really makes the, the fit on your bottom much much better so I have here uh, my lining for the bottom back. I have exactly the same, but my main fabric, which again, I can already go ahead and pin the center back seam because this is the one of the first things I'm going to do. Um, the other thing I'm gonna show you is my back. So I have two back pieces here. And I already have two lining pieces in black uh, matching my two main fabrics for the, my two backs. So this is ready. I'm gonna set this apart. And then I have two sleeves. Oh, where are my sleeves? Wait. Ta da! My sleeves. I have my sleeves two of them, of course, uh, only on the main fabric, because I don't think it makes any sense to have double layers on your sleeves for this pattern, so the sleeves will only have one layer of fabric. And then I've also pre-cutted two small bits of fabric. I chose the same color and they will be sewn here and you will see how I do the finish of my sleeve. So I have two of them. And I already, ha already uh, cut it a purple um, strap to tie my back. Uh, you can do it with a clasp on the top back, but today I'm gonna be sewing this strap. I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna use it to make the black uh, a little bit different. And then finally, I have my front. My front, this is the main fabric for the front. And as usual, and again, if you are new, uh, you don't probably, are you, you are not probably used to sew darts, but usually uh, in most of our bikini tops, I design darts. This is also uh, much better for the fit. So again, just fold the fabric right sides facing together pin on the dart area and just like the center back seam for the bottom we are going to sew the darts um, the darts are sewn uh, from the edge of the outside to the bust point here and i sew this uh, eight, eight millimeters from the edge this is curved slightly curved so i do the curve and when i reach the end here instead of going back uh, with my stitch, I leave my tail, I, uh, f sorry, first I, I, very, very, very near the edge, I come two or three stitches more, then I leave my tail, then I come back to my table and I tie two knots and I cut the excess threads. This is how I do the perfect finish on my darts. So my front is here with the darts and as the lining, uh, I don't have black, I'm gonna cut in nude and I'm gonna pin the darts also. And then 
I'm going to my straight stitch machine. I'm going to sew the darts here and on the lining. And I'm going to also prepare the center back seams of my bottoms. And then I'll be back on the table. I'm not going to shoot uh, that on camera because I don't think you need to see me sewing this. This is with the overlock and this is with the straight stitch. Something I can tell you um, is that uh, you should always cut the fabric. And I say this a lot using the grain line that we provide on our patterns and use uh, the grain line to align with your fabric and to cut it on the correct direction. Most of the fabrics have more stretch horizontally than vertically and the greater the great uh, the biggest uh, stretch should be should be horizontally so the grain line is opposite to that so always refer to the grain line when you cut your fabric any piece every piece of our patterns include the grain line another thing i wanted to tell you is if you are wondering why is um this pattern not reversible uh, please watch the intro video of this pattern where I really explain in detail why I did it, how I did it, because it's very important for me that you understand uh, why I did it the, like this and for you not to do the mistake of using my patterns that are made for non-reversible to do reversibles because they will not fit properly and you will not be happy with the result. Okay, so cut everything and we'll be back so let me show you how i do my darts so from the outsides of the darts half a centimeter from the edge my straight stitch i go back once and then i try to go align along with the curve i do not stretch the fabric when I reach the edge of my fabric, now, I'm really, really, really near the edge. So now I just put my foot up, down again, and now straight, very near the fold, three stitches. And now I just put my needle up, release, and cut with uh, eight centimeter tail. So. I will show you on this one because it's mu much easier for you to see because of the threads. Black is not an easy color to work because you can't see properly what you're doing if your thread has the same color of your fabric. But this time I really wanted this swimsuit in black. So I'm gonna do it in black. So I just don't be lazy and do this for the lining also. <laughs> I know that sometimes we like the shortcuts and we only do that for the outside fabric but since I started doing swimwear one year ago I always did the darts like this and let me tell you that if you're lazy the result will not be nice and if you do them like I'm telling you the result is much better tie two knots on the edge on the on the bust point two knots and cuts and do the same for the main fabric and for the lining another detail uh, that I always do when I do my darts is once you have this part done I always grab my darts and you see the flat uh, parts open here and I just trim a little bit more the edge towards the bust point and this also helps getting the best finish possible and we have so many patterns with darts i'm i'm addicted to darts and center back seams so you will see that most of our patterns have darts for the tops and center back seams for the bottoms okay so uh let's get ready to start combining our pieces so i will show you with the main fabric and you do the same for the lining with my uh, main fabric facing up on my table, I have my back piece and this is my main side. So if it was underneath, it would be like so, right? So I want this to connect here and I want my other one to connect here. So 
fold this right sides facing together of your fabric right side right side right sides facing together and let's spin the shoulder area and do this for the main fabric and also for your lining once you have pinned the shoulder area just go to the overlock and sew voila magic it's sewn together uh, I also did my strap already and with the loop turner I'm gonna make it uh, turn it to the right side um, if you have any questions regarding straps we have a video specific for straps with a lot of options and helping you with tips and tricks for straps on our uh, YouTube channel we do some videos we call them all about straps, all about flounces, all about... <laughs> and so it's a series we have. And you can check there uh, if you want uh, to learn more about straps. So my strap is done. And I've combined the shoulder area like I told you. I have a place, no elastic for now. And so this is only seams together and uh, the same here. And now we have our back and our front together and it's time to attach our uh, sleeve the pattern uh, has notches on the sleeve on the main uh, side so on your sleeve side and also on your um, main piece side and the notches are for you to mark on your um, fabric sorry I'm so tired uh, so I just I'm gonna give a small 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 cut on my notches to mark them on my fabrics I'm gonna do that for the main fabric and uh, on the main piece and also on my sleeves and This is just for us to be able to align these notches with one from the sleeve with the same notches on the main piece and to make sure that the the sleeve is properly attached So to, to mark the notches on your, uh, on your fabric, you have two ways. I'm cutting a little bit, but just a little bit, uh, the paper and also the fabric so that my notches are marked on my fabrics. If this was a different color fabric, probably I would use a, a marker, a washable marker. But if not, a small cut is also something that you may do. Do that on the sides of the sleeves and also on the sides of your main pieces. So with my main pieces on my table, I will align my sleeve with my main pieces. And I start by using pins to connect the notches marked on the pattern pieces and also on the sleeve pieces. So uh, I start by aligning the center, uh, the seam that connects the front with the back with the center seam of my um, sleeve and then I pin the two other notches one on each side and then I pin the edge uh, of the sleeve with the edge of the front or back and once those five pins are ready are pinned are uh, attached I, I will be ready to sew this if you are inexperienced I would recommend that you use more pins and instead of only five you place more pins connecting the sleeve to the main pieces As I've done this before, today I'm just going to use five, the five pins I've told you. But if you feel safer, just go ahead and use more pins to make sure you, your seam is correctly sewed. Make sure when you sew that you not pull the fabric 
Sometimes you have the tendency to pull the fabric, so don't pull the fabric. Just align it uh, and feed the machine with the curved uh, fabrics, making sure that they are aligned. I sewed this using my straight stitch, but the ideal is for you to use an elastic stitch, like the lightening stitch or the zigzag. I also have a straight stitch on my machine that is elastic, that has some elasticity, uh, but here I was completely distracted and used my straight stitch. It's okay because later I will do a zigzag, but well, now you know. If you can, please don't forget uh, elastic stitch when you sew, uh, when you connect the sleeve to the main pieces. It is sewn together. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to do only this process, the same process for the other uh, sleeve, and then we'll be back because we want to attach the lining so that we do not have this seam in contact with us. So I've just did the straight stitch for now, and I'm going to do the same st straight stitch on my other sleeve. What we are going to do now, we have our main piece. This is our main sides, and we have our back on top and we want to place right sides of the, the darts facing our front right side also so to make it easier for you i'm gonna lay it on the table and you will see so i have here my darts i'm gonna flip this like so with my back up there and my darts here and I'm going to place my fabric with my right sides darts facing the, this right side on top okay and I'm going to align the shoulders here I'm going to align the center of my front and the back here I'm gonna do this all around my neck. And uh, I will do that in a minute. And I am also going to align and sew this part, which is our back okay so our back is also going to be sewn together only this diagonal that i'm pinning okay so the diagonal not this part here where we are going to attach the strap then all the neck from the back to the front to the back again aligning them and then the other diagonal okay and we will apply elastic on the side of our main fabric. This is very important or you will end up seeing the lining uh, once this is reversed to the right side. OK, so pin and let's go to our sewing machine and apply the elastic all around these areas that we have just pinned. I decided to do another strap wider. And also uh, I ended up starting like in a curve, I improvised and then straight and then curve again. And this is because once we divide this in half, I want the edges to be thinner. So I just improvised. You can, you can do rectangles or you can also improvise, you choose. I will give you the size of the rectangle and then if you want to improvise the edges, Go ahead and improvise, so you decide what you prefer. <laughs> this side is not so perfect. I have to finish this in the end. Okay, so now I'm going to divide this in two. And 
and as I told you, I apply the elastic, of course, you already know. And using the opening on the sides, I'm going to align my it's actually easy to align easier to align once you have already sewn this edge and this one and then you just slide this the strap so it's up to you if you do it now or if you do it a little bit later as I was telling you it's up to you I think I will do it later okay so diagonal here and diagonal again uh, the trick here uh, to do the curve and I'm gonna apply elastic the trick here uh, and I know that this is something we shouldn't do but I do it uh, I tick the elastic along the way uh, to help giving the shape of the curve and I do that to make this look perfect and you will see the result so let's go ahead apply the elastic on the diagonals and here I always start uh, sewing uh, a little bit without elastic and then I place my elastic and also I don't like to use my uh, elastic foot because this way I can control this, the tension of the elastic with my hands and I can feel it and I can adjust it depending on the area of the pattern where on the line on the area where I'm sewing so I really like to adjust this uh, with my hands so that's why I don't use elastic foot. I'm ready to attach my straps to my main piece uh, I've just aligned really really near the edge there and on this side too and this is the only way that I can ensure my strap will look perfect once it's on the other side and instead of doing this with my overlock I'm going to do this with a straight stitch crossing here and uh, as I always do I'm gonna after I cross this straight I'm gonna do a diagonal here going over the overlock threads on both sides to make them secure because after I'm going to trim the corner there and the excess fabric here and so I want to make sure that these threads threads are secure so go ahead and straight stitch diagonal there and diagonal there so I'm going to explain you what I've done on one side so that you can do the same on the other so let's do together on this side as you remember we only have one layer for our um, sleeve so 
but on the main body, on the back and on the front, we have two layers, right? We have our main fabric and we have the lining. So I wanted to hide the seam from connecting the lining to the main fabric on the shoulder and on the arm area. So what I did is I actually sewed the lining to the fabric and to the um, sleeve all together with a zigzag stitch. Remember that we had just made a straight stitch to connect the sleeve to the main piece? Okay, so then I also added the lining and when I added the lining, I did a zigzag. And now I know that my seam is secure. But I can also go ahead and do um, an overlock on this uh, seam to make it completely secure. But just to let you know how to do this so that you don't see the seam. If we imagine that we have here our, our, our front and our sleeve and our back and we have here the seam with the straight stitch, we want this to be attached like this, right? Like we have on this side. But if we sew this just like it is together, you would have the seam visible. So wh what we want is our lining to be sewn on this side and I'm turning my lining to the other side so I think you can follow and I start aligning here on the edge and when I align this I only align and I only sew the zigzag on the previous straight stitch I had there so I so my camera died in the middle of my explanation, but now I have already done the zigzag. So as I was explaining, you just pin now three layers, the lining, the main fabric and the sleeve, and then you do a zigzag and all around. And when we pull this out, we will have Our seam hidden so as you can see this is our sleeve the inside this is our lining this is for the front for the back and all our seam is hidden inside here on the shoulder area and on the, on the arm area just we did it here so this is not that hard then I want, also want to tell you that for my sleeves, instead of using the black um, fabric that I had cut it before, I uh, cut it in purple because I want to add a little bit of uh, uh, color to my uh, swimsuit. So I went ahead and cut it two new uh, pieces of uh, fabric, uh, purple fabric, and I've placed right sides facing together and pinned. And now I'm going to apply one centimeter wide elastic because I want this color to be visible on the edge of my sleeve. So I'm going to apply one centimeter wide elastic. And uh, then I will show you how to finish the sleeve. But for now, one centimeter wide elastic on the edge here. We have many ways to finish our sleeves. Uh, we, ca we could do this uh, without any seam visible, only a stitch in the end. But today this is the option I want, so this is the option I'm going to film and show you how to do it. So go ahead and do that. Another thing I want to tell you is regarding our neckline um, and also on the back here, on, all, over, uh, all around our neck. We don't want our lining to be showing, so we have two options. We go ahead and we do a cover stitch on this side, on the edge here. Uh, or a zigzag if you don't have the cover stitch. You can also open the fabric. You can also open and place your seam towards the lining side and do a under stitch here, very near the edge. You can do an under stitch here and this will also stabilize uh, the fabric so it, it will not be visible. And I think that's the option I'm gonna go for. I'm going to see if um, this is going to be as I want. So I'm going to go and do 
the stabilization with another stitch on the neckline from the strap there I cannot do it here because I cannot access this area yeah so I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna do a cover stitch a zigzag stitch from one edge all around until the other edge just with my uh, fabric on the table aligning it and do a zigzag here on the edge of the fabric So I was rehearsing and now I'm ready to explain you how to attach the side and close the sleeve. One of the things we can already go ahead and do with our sleeve is uh, we can fold sorry uh, we can fold this like so and this is the inside of the sleeve and we can do a stitch here with a zigzag or the best and the, the option I'm going to is I'm going to fold the fabric once and then twice okay like so I'm gonna pin and I'm going to my um, uh, sewing machine and I'm going to do a zigzag on the black side okay and when I do that zigzag this will be finalized and ready and we will have a little bit of uh, purple on the edge of our sleeve and the finish will be perfect. So that's one of the things I'm gonna do first, the finish of the sleeves. Then, to connect the sides and also back here uh, on the crotch area and to finish uh, our swimsuit here on the top, I'm gonna let you uh, go, I'm gonna explain you uh, how we should do it. On a swimsuit, there are always a lot of ways you can finish the swimsuit, but today we are doing one of the ways, possible ways, and in the future, when I do this again, I will film this again and I will use different methods, so then I will let you know on our social media and you can decide what you want to do. So, what we have here? We have our back piece with the right side facing up on the table then we have the front piece right sides facing together I'm gonna roughly align but of course you know we have to align precisely okay so this one on top then we align the lining that's already attached on the sleeve area to the to the front so we align the lining as you can see, the lining has the right side facing up on the table. So the wrong side is with the wrong side of the fabric. It's correct. Okay, also aligned. And finally, we also align the bottom back of the lining with our seam facing up on the table. So right sides facing together, also on the side here. But we are not done yet. We still need to also attach our back. And uh, we are going to give, I'm gonna just put here clips just to secure this more or less in place and to show you. So we also want to attach the back here. So we now unfold this to the other side. We align the sleeve because once we, do, we have done the folds that I've told you, we will do this. First the, first the sleeves and then what I'm showing you, okay? And then we will be aligning the sleeves here under the arm and we then have the back. And this back here is going to align with the side here. So you, we, we come with our sleeve this is under our our arm. I'm whoa. I'm gonna put a clip here. 
And so we now have this here. This is with right sides facing together, back and front, like so. And when you connect here, you actually want the back to go uh, between the back bottom. Okay, so you have to open this, place it underneath and then close it and close it here. Okay, I'm going to show you in detail again and slowly, but I'm going to, I'm going to reverse to the other side. So you will see the effect that I'm looking for. I also attach here, right sides facing together, just place them together, pin, and we will sew here. We will sew the sides until the, until the sleeve, the end of the sleeve the other side until the end of the sleeve. Don't forget, first do the sleeve as I told you, and then we, we will do the back, the sides and here. But first let me show you, uh, just if we unfold this to the right side, how it is going to look. You then use the, the leg hole to reverse this. Maybe I should sew this first to show you because, yeah. I will sew it and I will show you. I will stick the video here in the middle so that you can see what I'm talking about. Because of the um, way we place this on the side here. But let me just to make sure that you do this uh, correctly. Bottom back lining. Front lining. Front piece with the uh, right sides down facing the, the back, the back piece with right sides facing up on the table and the back piece aligning the edge with the edge here and with the back main fabric facing up on the table and against the front, okay? Like so. And this is our, we are going to sew it. I think you got it. So I'm gonna pin everything correctly in place, but first I'm gonna finish the sleeves and then I'm gonna sew the sides, the crotch, the other sides, and I'll be back on the table. I decided to do two different finishes for the sleeves so that you can also choose which one you prefer so one of the sleeves I folded as I told you and I did the zigzag and this is how it will look inside the sleeve okay with the fold and outside the other sleeve outside it's the same of course but inside instead of folding the fabric I just uh, le le left the edge here of the fabric and now carefully I am going to trim the excess fabric here and so you can decide if you want to do um, with this version on the, of the fold or with this version of the trim just be careful when you trim not to trim something you don't want uh, I think the trimming uh, will be nice and I think next time I will trim both of them it's just a little bit less fabric so I think I prefer the trim what about you so I'm gonna trim this one this part it is folded
now I'm gonna do the side just like I told you and we still are missing some parts so this is not finished at all once we do this side seams we still need to finish the back uh, and we also need to finish the um, the leg holes so I first need to align the front and the back, bottom, as I'm doing here, if you follow me, because I need to see if I lay my fabric flat, I need to see exactly matching this part here, where it's going to hit down there. So now I, I align here and here. And now in this area where I will connect a lot of layers, I, I will be careful to align this one. With the top and then I will align with, with that part from the back. I have a little bit of lining sticking there, which it's not a problem because it's only natural that you will have a strange shape here. We apply the elastic and so our main fabric got a little bit bigger than our lining. So our lining is sticking out. So I'm aligning carefully the layers of fabric. And I still didn't place these ones on purpose because I first really want to make sure that I stick this exactly in place. Okay. If you feel safer you can do some stitches to secure the layers like they are now. Uh, but don't forget that then they will break because the straight stitches on a, sew on a swimsuit will always break, right? So uh, if you feel that you need to do the basting stitch, do it. Um, but don't forget that they are only there just to help you during the sewing process. They are never a definitive uh, finish because they will break with the elasticity of the fabric. And so now I'm placing this one and now I'm only missing this one. And now I will be ready to sew the entire side. Once I've done one side, I will repeat the entire process for the other one, aligning everything carefully. I will use my overlock to do this or serger to sew this all this seam. So this will be done on one go. And I can also, I will not do the other side at the same time, but I can already go and do my lower part of my bottom, this crotch area here. But this is very simple. You just align the four layers of fabric and you sew them together on your serger.
So I came to my straight stitch machine and I did a basting stitch with a zigzag securing this area here because it's the trickiest area it's the hardest part of our side seam so I've done this and I can check if the fabrics are all attached together I will remove the pins and I will check and if they are this is okay and I can go to my overlock and do the rest of the process if they are not okay I can correct here on the zigzag yes it's perfect so now I can go to my overlock and when I go to the overlock I cut the excess fabric here and this will be perfect so I have sewn from my sleeve down here down here until the hip area I've, I've been able to connect all the fabrics together and I've also done it here now we are just missing the same, I mean, we still have a lot to go, but for now we are missing the other side. So I'm gonna pin and I'm gonna sew the side just like we have uh, just done on the other sides. Our sides are sewn together. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. And so we can reverse this to the right side to go and do the back and also the leg holes. If you want, um, on our the end on the end of the sleeve, if you want the seam to be flat, flat and the finish is better, you just toward, uh, make the the seam towards one of the sides, and you go to your straight stitch machine and you do a, a stitch here just to secure this seam towards one of the sides so it will be flatter and then you cut the excess thread, okay? I'm gonna do that in a bit. Now I'm reversing all this to the right side. It's getting shape, okay. So now we want to finish the legs and the lower back bottom here. The legs is very easy. We just go to our sewing machine and uh, we apply the elastic on the lining sides. Uh, we apply the elastic on the lining sides all around the, the leg hole and then we will just fold and do a top stitch here, which I will do a zigzag. So, and the leg holes will be finished. For the lower part of our back, here, and I wish this had a better finish than it's going to be, but in this version, this is what it is. Oh, I still want to tell you something. Uh, you will have this small bit of uh, seam visible here, okay? So if you want to go ahead and hide it, I have a fold over elastic. Um, it has stretch and it's very thin. This is fold over elastic. And so if I want to make, uh, to hide this, or you can do this with a bit of uh, black fabric, you can just sew to the seam and then fold. Okay, or I'm gonna show you. We fold the fabric like so. I'm using the, this side so that you can see better. And then you place your elastic like so, covering the seam. And you fold your elastic. And you sew the elastic in place with a zigzag stitch near the edge of the black elastic until you, you reach, you, you have covered all your seam. And this will make uh, this seam so I'm gonna finish my sleeves. I'm gonna cut a little bit of fold over elastic for each side. And you have here the opening so you can go a little bit further if you want to hide the seam. I'm going to apply the fold over elastic here, folding this very carefully and slowly and patiently. 
and I'm going to cover the, the, the side seam, okay? And once I've done this on both sides, and once I have flattened my seam from my sleeve, we will be back on the table, I, and I will also do the leg holes, and after, I will be back on the table to let you know how to, to finish the lower part of your back, uh, and then this will be finished, so... A few moments more and we will see our beautiful swimsuit ready. So for this to have a very very nice finish I prefer pinning because this way I'm sure that I will be able to do the fold and in one go I will sew both sides okay so this is why I decided to pin if you want <laughs> you try to do it without the pin you can but I really prefer placing the pins. So our leg holes already have the elastic applied. Now I just need to fold like so and do a zigzag all around the leg hole or a top stitch uh, if you have a cover stitch machine. Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> cover stitch if you have a cover stitch machine. You understood. Um, and I, if I had black elastic, this would be nicer. And if the lining was black, but I don't have it. It's so hard to get supplies here. You can't imagine. Well, not complaining. Let's go. So, for our back, as I told you, I uh, used the fold-over elastic to cover the seam that we had on this small bit here. I'm going to cut the excess of my fold-over. And I went a little bit further. So, when we close the back... We will not see any seam here. If you want, you can go with the fold over all along until the edge, the edge of your sleeve. But I didn't do that. I don't think this um, this seam will be will bother me. So I didn't do that. But if you feel more comfortable, you can uh, for sure go ahead with the fold over and do the, this until the end of the sleeve. On the end of the sleeve, I did the stitch, as I told you, to flatten the, the edge of my seam. I'm now just going to trim a little bit the excess that I have here. And my uh, seam is finished, my sleeve. Uh, so, I can already tell you how to finish the lower part here of our swimsuit. I'm gonna have this for kids, very similar, because I think uh, they need a lot of protection from the sun and a long sleeve is always good for a kid. So I'm gonna also have a pattern like this one, but for kids, you know, on a very near future. So here we have two options. We can do uh, in purple, which I think it would be very pretty to have a purple detail here, just like on the sleeve. Or we can just uh, sew applying the elastic on the lining side like we have done here. And then we will then fold and do a cover stitch and it will be finished. So it's up to you uh, to decide how you want to finish uh, your edge here. In my case, I'm going to think for a few seconds. So I ended up doing the fold over. I just placed the elastic and folded and did a zigzag. We cannot see the zigzag because it's the match matching threads. Uh, you can also see here the connection on the side between all the fabrics. And you can see that it turned out pretty great. So let me show you 
so the legs folded and with a zigzag matching thread in black so my legs are ready and then for the back here I also applied the elastic folded and did a zigzag I'm gonna zoom so that you can see the detail this will be like so once it's on you but when I open I'm gonna zoom so that you can see the detail here on the fold where we placed the fold over elastic and then when this piece connects with all of this so the, the I think it's the hardest part of the pattern I'm gonna zoom so that you can see Another thing we could have done if we wanted to was, and we can still do it, is applying a zigzag stitch here, like a top stitch, uh, to make this seam stable. And so you will never see this, the lining when this is uh, on your body. But I actually uh, don't feel like that I need to do this on this particular seam. I've put it on and it's fine. So I decided not to do the top stitch, but if you want, you can do a top stitch all along here. And then you tie your knot and we are ready to go. I'm going to show you this on me because I really, really love I'm going to do a video and I'm going to show you because I think this is my new obsession. <laughs> Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed the, today's tutorial and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.